Hello everybody, this is ManOS and welcome to another Legends of Runeterra video. Today I want to talk about the first spoilers for the new upcoming set for Legends of Runeterra that will come out with 120 plus new cards once the game gets released by the end of the month. Um, but before we do so, you know the drill, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet to not miss out on future content and let me briefly introduce you to today's sponsor before we get to the content. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN, one of the leading virtual private network providers out there. A virtual private network keeps your data secure and yourself anonymous while using the internet. NordVPN comes with super fast servers, allows you to unlock your favorite entertainment websites like Netflix. They provide a 30 day money back guarantee. They also have an included cybersecurity suit, which acts as an ad blocker to boot. They don't lock any of your data, provide a 24 seven customer support, and you can use it on up to six simultaneous connections. So one account covers most or all of your electronic devices. And most importantly, they don't have any bandwidth limit, so you can use it nonstop without it getting throttled, which is particularly important for heavy users like us. It also won multiple awards and comes highly recommended by top technology experts. So if you're still surfing online without a VPN, now is the time to change that. Get NordVPN now, 70% off for a three year plan, including one month extra for free using the code MANUS or the personalized link in the description down below. And now on to today's content. All right. Um, yeah, this is the first spoiler. Um, the card is called Great Horn Companion. It's a five cost four five. As you can see, it's a common and a Demacia card, and it has a new keyword. Keyword is called Scout. As we learned in the video, there was not a post or anything that it was just embedded in the Quinn reveal video. Uh, scout means the first time each turn you only attack with Scout units, you ready your attack. So basically, Scout units can attack twice a turn. So you get to attack with this, then once you attack with this, you get another attack token. Afterwards, the opponent gets priority, can play something, and then you get priority again and can attack again with your entire board if you want to. Keep in mind, it needs to be only scout units. You cannot attack the first time with a mix of scout and non-scout units. So it's a bit similar to um, just like double attack in a way, but obviously has some different uh, up and down sides. Like, for example, in case of how Quinn works, we will talk about her in a moment. Uh, it helps her um, level faster. Not sure how interesting this ability will be going forward. Since, like I said, it uh, in a lot of ways is very similar to uh, double attack, which makes it not that interesting or uh, creative of an ability, but it's a bit too early to judge it. So what about this card? In Expedition, seems pretty good. Like a 4-5 is a pretty great baseline unit. In Constructed, even in Constructed, a 4-5 is pretty solid. There aren't <laughs> that many units that can kill this in one combat. So the chance that it gets to attack a second time are pretty high, but it also costs five. So you're basically playing like uh, paying like one mana for the scout ability, which is pretty good. So this could maybe be uh, relevant and constructed. It's a bit hard to say. It might also just be a bit too vanilla and um, yeah, medium on raid, but it can also hit pretty hard and fast, especially on empty boards. Imagine this against like controlling decks. This is a five cost unit that hits for eight a turn, which is a lot. So this kind of hits for as much as a Hecarim now does. So nothing to sneeze at. But yeah, um, one of the cards that is less likely to show up in Constructed, um, I would say. Next off, we have Greenfang Warden. It's a 3 cost 2-2 two, two Elite with Barrier that also has Scout. Once again, the Master card, all the cards we have seen so far are the new the Master cards. Um, given that this is um, a new Demacia card and we got a new Demacia uh, champion, I guess would be that all of the old factions maybe get one new champion or even only some of them not entirely sure if there will be six new champions plus the new region but since they said there will only be one region 
I think, because it's at 120 plus cards plus a new region. That probably means we will get at least one champion per old region, and then probably four champions of the new region, maybe, to keep up, so that there's four champions of each region. That would be imaginable, which would mean 10 champions total, which seems reasonable out of 120 cards, but um, I don't know, maybe it's more, but um, 10 seems like a reasonable number if I had to guess. Otherwise, it would be 17 if they go to like five champions, but also going to like five champions per region this early seems like a lot, so I kind of doubt that's going to happen. Anyway, back to Green Fang Warden. Yeah, it's, it's an elite, which is nice. Effectively, this kind of acts once again as like a 2-2 two, two, um, double attack barrier or sort of like a 4-2 barrier for three, which is not that great. Like, I don't think in Constructed this is going to be relevant at all. In Expedition, it seems fine, but not great. Um, yeah, just pretty underwhelming, like the most underwhelming of the cards that uh, we've seen, I would say. Next we have Grizzled Ranger. That's a whole different ball game though. Like this card's pretty sweet. So four cost for one, which is obviously pretty fragile, and it has Scout. Um, the Scout seems like it doesn't do anything here, given that Grizzled Ranger will almost certainly die the first attack around. But uh, Grizzled Ranger has Last Breath, and on Last Breath summons a Loyal Badger. A Loyal Badger as we can see here, is a 3 cost 4-4 four, four that doesn't have scout, but if you attack with the Grizzled Bear, which this is one of the design spaces where it's actually different and interesting uh, compared to like double attack, because you uh, attack with the scout, the scout dies, you get a better bear, but you got your attack ready because the scout attacked alone and had scout, and therefore gave you another attack token that allows you to attack with Loyal Badger Bear. So you still usually get an attack for 8. Um, and an important thing here is, Loyal Badger Bear is not just a card to come out of the scout from its last press. In the video we have seen it um, in the hand of a player, and it has a rarity token, a rarity symbol, where uh, units that are created by cards that aren't actual cards don't have that. So this is also an actual card, so we get a 3 cost 4-4, four, four, which is pretty impressive. Like, a 3 cost 3-4 three, would have also already been, like, pretty nice, pretty solid and constructed. But a 3 cost 4-4 four, four is super beefy. Like, if we look at it, we have a fair share of, like, 4 cost 4-3s four now. Like, even camp uh, even um, the Chump Wump uh, now is a 4-3, and 3 health is... Pretty weak on a 4-drop, given that most 2-drops are 3-2s. So having a 3-cost 4-4 four, four that basically beats any 2 and 3-drop in the game is super impressive. Like, this guy is quite the power creep in terms of vanilla baseline stats. So this should have a pretty big impact in Constructed, and it's going to be a monster in Limited, really, in Expedition. So yeah. This is like as big of an impact, I would say, as Grizzled Ranger has. And Grizzled Ranger is just brutal. Like, it's a two for one. It um, generates tempo. It hits super fast and hard. This card looks pretty premium. Like, this is quite a powerhouse for Demacia. We will have to see how it fits in with the new cards and everything, but. Oh boy, this card looks super strong. And the card that it drops looks almost stronger, or at least as strong. Um, so yeah, this is pretty impressive. Anyway, on to the new champion. This is Quinn. She's the new Demacia hero. She's a 5 cost, 3-4. Um, when she's summoned, you summon Valor. I'll show you real quick what Valor is. Valor is basically sort of a fleet feather tracker with scout. So it's a 2 cost, 2 one with challenge and scout. So a pretty good thing to uh, get for free from your champion. 3-4 uh, is obviously kind of weak for a 5-drop, but she has scout and Valor helps protect her since as a 3-4 for 5, she is not that likely at that point in the game to survive combat because there will often be units that can just block her and kill her. 
Um, the level up condition is when I've seen, seen you attack four times, which obviously is a lot easier with scout. So basically, if you manage to get two scout attacks in, that means two, comb uh, two turns in which you have the attack token are required to level Quinn. But it also isn't that easy given that her stats aren't that big and that Valor will usually die the first time around. So, um, not sure how uh, how impactful she's going to be in terms of like leveling, but I mean she can always just like sit back and it can take you like three um, three three turns in which you have an attack token, for example, to level her. You can play cards like um, Relentless Pursuit to help level her, because once she level levels, she's the she's a real powerhouse. But she's already like very solid. Basically, you get like five five in stats for five but they come with scout and split over two cards and have challenge utility but yeah once she levels she becomes a four or five and on attack summons a valor that automatically challenges the strongest enemy which is pretty nice because normally challengers that get summoned this way don't get to challenge anything because it happens after challenging happens but adding this nice auto challenge on the biggest guy makes it a lot easier for Quinn to kind of stick around and makes it really annoying for the opponent and has sort of a bit of a similar effect as um, Ash's ability in that regard by basically uh, nullifying the biggest opposing unit and therefore making it a lot harder to deal with the champion itself. In Ash's case, it's a lot easier because she's a three health unit. Quinn is a five health unit, making it a lot harder once you take the biggest unit out of the picture to actually deal with Quinn in combat. And she also hits pretty hard by hitting twice. But um, yeah, I'm honestly not sure how strong Quinn is going to be, given that she takes quite some time to level. It's not that easy to speed up leveling and is a bit small in terms of her stats. And her front side is solid, but not super great, I would say. Uh, for now, while her backside is super powerful, but not that easy to unlock. Also, we don't know what her uh, champion spell is going to be yet, which also uh, means this might be like a pretty, a pretty interesting, um, nice new card that we're going to see soon. I honestly wish they would have revealed her champion spell uh, alongside her because that's also a factor in evaluating her to an extent and that's the puzzle piece we are missing but uh, if other champions are any indication it's going to be something that um, helps her helps level her to some extent so maybe something like uh, combat related that lets you attack again or something like that um, maybe something that give something scout or something because i mean obviously it can't be relentless pursuit because we have that already but this would be a champion that obviously would really benefit from relentless pursuit honestly this would be a better champion for relentless pursuit as the champion spell than lucian because in lucian's case um other than relentless pursuit being flavor wise tied to lucian being on the card and everything and sort of relentless pursuit being his trigger once he's leveled um it actually doesn't synergize that well with him because it doesn't help that much level him. Uh, it only helps in the sense that the opponent is forced to kill your units more, which gets your level progress faster in a way. So there's only some indirect connection. Well, here it would be a very nice direct link of uh, getting Quinn leveled faster. Anyway, it's really cool to see the first new champion. Let me know in the comments what you think of Quinn and what you think of the other cards and of the new mechanic. I think the mechanic for now, at least with the cards we've seen, other than with the scout um, itself, the four drop, um, seems a bit un unimpressive, like unexciting, just kind of like a spin on double attack really um, that has some minor different synergies and up and down sides. But, um, Nothing too creative or super interesting yet, but maybe we'll get more cards that make it more interesting down the line. But for now, um, Scout seems kind of unexciting, but the cards seem seem pretty interesting and quite strong actually. So we'll see how how the rest of the stuff is uh, going to look. I hope we'll get the next. Uh, 
bunch of spoilers probably this week or at at least next week like since given this was early this week i wouldn't expect any spoilers this week probably but maybe we'll get them like one spoiler a week or something new champion plus a bunch of cards then again that would be kind of slow given um that we're not that far away from release so maybe they'll ramp it up i'm hard to say at this point first spoiler season so we'll see how they go about it um and of course let me know if you want more preview uh, more reviews of the latest cards and how you're liking the format that i'm doing them in all right that's it again for this time i thank you for watching if you enjoy the content make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe for more share it with your friends and leave a comment thanks for watching everybody i'm your host manu s and i'll see you next time bye